Something that a lot of new advertisers get wrong when they're first getting started in Google Ads is the difference between keywords and search terms. Many new advertisers think that they're the same thing, and while they are related, they're different. In this video, we'll talk about these two critical components of pay-per-click advertising, and you'll be an expert in this terminology moving forward. Hey friends, my name is Scott Redgate, and if you're new to this channel, I'm passionate about helping small businesses make more and spend less and show you that you have what it takes to manage your own online marketing campaigns. All right, so we're going to talk about keywords and search terms, but before we do, I have something that I want to give you, and that's my seven-day online marketing jumpstart PDF. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart. If you're looking for money-saving marketing advice that can get your business results, this is a great document. It's completely free, it's quick, it's simple bullets, and after you complete the steps outlined in this doc, not only will your website have a solid foundation to generate more leads or get more revenue, but you'll have a lot more confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an agency, saving you a lot of money in the long run. So what are keywords? Keywords are the words or phrases that are used to match your ads with what people are searching for. Search terms are the exact words or phrases that users search and enter into the Google search box. It's important to choose keywords that align with your business goals. For example, if you're a yoga instructor and you're looking to drive class signups, some of the keywords that you choose might be yoga classes near me or keywords like online yoga teacher. Here's another example. Let's say you're an e-commerce business looking to sell sneakers. Some of the keywords you target might be buy basketball sneakers or online sneaker store. The cost that you pay for each keyword click will be different depending on the quality of your keyword, the competition in the search auction, and some other factors. If you make your keywords ad and landing page closely related to a particular theme, you'll be in good shape. It's not too complicated. In the previous example, the yoga classes near me keyword should be paired with an ad that highlights the benefits of your yoga class and the landing page should have information on your class and how people can sign up. If the landing page directs people to something completely different like information about your spin class schedule, you're not gonna find much success as your conversion rate and bounce rate will suffer as a result. When setting up keywords in Google Ads, there are three match type selections. Broad, phrase, and exact. Broad match is the most flexible option, allowing your ad to show for a wide variety of searches that are related to your keywords. Phrase match, which is indicated by quotation marks around the keyword, is slightly more restrictive as it allows for you to show your ad on searches that include the meaning of your keyword. Exact match, which is identified by having brackets at the beginning and end, is the most restrictive option, only showing your ad when someone searches something closely related to your keyword phrase. All right, so let's take a step back and define search terms. Search terms or search queries are the actual words or phrases typed into Google by your potential customer base. So in Google Ads, you input keywords to target that are triggered by the search terms that someone types in. Once your ads are up and running, it's super important to monitor the search terms report regularly to make sure that they match up with your chosen keywords. You could waste a ton of money if you don't. For example, there's a chance that keywords like online sneaker store, if set to broad match, could appear for search terms like dress shoes or buy sandals online. That is pretty far from the true intent of your keyword and might not even be a product type that you sell. So as you can see, unless you added those search terms as negative keywords or tightened up your keyword list by using mostly phrase and exact match, a lot of the success in your account could be in trouble. All right, so let's recap. Search terms are the exact words and phrases that search users type into the Google search box. Keywords, on the other hand, are the words or phrases that an advertiser chooses to target with their ads. I hope those insights were helpful for you. And if you're looking for more money-saving marketing advice, visit scottredgate.com and subscribe to this channel to watch more videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.